Now, the Inspector General of Police, Dr. George Ekufo Dampari, has charged personnel deployed to escort protesters participating in the Arise Ghana demonstration today to treat them with respect and dignity. His call comes ahead of the planned protest by the pressure group to demand better living conditions in the wake of the prevailing harsh economic times. The IGP believes today's demonstration is an opportunity for the police service to demonstrate that Ghana is truly a democratic state. He spoke to the personnel at the forecourt of the National Police Headquarters here in Accra. Cast through the end so beautifully. Next point is that we should continue to remember that those demonstrators are human beings like us. Those demonstrators are Ghanaians like us. They are brothers and sisters. And therefore, we should treat them with all the respect, the civility, and the, and the dignity that each and every human being deserves. In effect, we should treat them the way we would have loved to be treated if we were on the other side. And from that, it means as you go out there, if anybody needs help, help the person. If it is you, that is your effort, that is going to take for somebody to continue to live in order to accept, I mean, accomplish his God-given destiny, please do that. And do that joyously. Do that with love. Do that with a sense of humility. Do that with a sense of humility and humanity. And at the end of the day, we win the hearts and minds of these demonstrators. And as a way of contributing towards that, we are deploying two mobile police hospitals for the purpose of this demonstration, both for yourself and also for any demonstrator who may need our assistance in this regard. We want to show the world that as a country, our democracy is growing from strength to strength. And this is a finest opportunity to demonstrate that. And we cannot, and I repeat, we cannot miss this opportunity. So finally, as we go there and go out there, with all that we have shared, we want to see that the end product will be as follows. One, the demonstrators themselves and their leadership will be so happy with us that after the demonstration, they will come and want to say a big thank you. Two, the rest of the people of Ghana we will also be so glad in terms of the way we have conducted ourselves and in terms of the way the demonstrators have also behaved such that we will be proud of ourselves as a country. And three, the rest of the world will also continue to see us as a beacon of hope in the sub region and beyond when it comes to democracy, when it comes to peace, when it comes to demonstration of humanity. So as we go there, we know we can do exactly that. Let's go there and shine. Let's go there and win the hearts and minds of the demonstrators. Let's go there and win the hearts and minds of the people who are not. I will take you live to the grounds where my colleague Manuel Cranton is marching with the demonstrators later on uh, in this bulletin for you to get all the latest on that. But in the meantime, former finance minister Seth Tekpe says, in this current hardship, Ghana has to consider going back to the IMF. The former minister has said, that without the IMF, it will be difficult to look at the rapid growth in inflation and others. Tax analyst Eric Amponsabwating is also asking government to sit down and have clear plans of action on what they can do to improve the economy because of the policies the government is introducing is no different from what the IMF will ask us to do. We'll take a quick break here. We'll bring you details of that story and more after this break.